Today on News Bites, Speaker Trump, yay or nay? China's green energy coal plants and Biden tries reducing border funds. Stick around for these bites and more all on today's News Bites. Okay, real fast. Mortgage rates climbed to 7.31% this week, the highest level since 2000. Rate hikes aim to curb inflation, though it remains well above the Fed's 2% target, meaning more hikes are coming. Low housing inventory due to people unwilling to take on new higher rates keeps pushing housing prices up. Buying is now more expensive than renting in all but three major U.S. markets. You will own nothing and be... All right, here's the scoop. Trump may visit Congress before the House speakership election and may pitch himself as a candidate for speaker. If he goes, Trump would speak to House Republicans sometime before their internal speaker vote on Wednesday. Winning would require near unanimity from the House GOP. Electing a non-member as speaker would be unprecedented, though not unconstitutional. Some GOP members have backed the idea and Trump said, quote, we'll do whatever is best for the GOP and country. Pelosi has yet to comment. Okay, check this out with a defensive tone. Biden said he tried using border wall funds on other things, but wasn't able to. Millions globally have illegally crossed the U.S. border since the Biden admin came to power. Last month alone, 230,000 confirmed foreign nationals crossed the U.S. southern border. Watch. One question on the border wall. The border wall, the money was appropriated for the border wall. I tried to get them to reappropriate, to redirect that money. They didn't. They wouldn't. And in the meantime, there's nothing under the law other than they have to use the money for what was appropriate. I can't stop that. Okay, here's the latest. OpenAI Sam Altman suggests solar geoengineering could be a temporary patch when the climate crisis gets bad enough. He has misgivings, but thinks some country will try it if the crisis worsens. Altman has been meeting with global leaders on a world tour, and his stance on geoengineering involves reflecting sunlight to cool the planet. Billionaire Bill Gates notoriously backs these experiments of spraying particles into the stratosphere with planes to reflect sunlight. Coalitions of researchers call for ending solar geoengineering plans and ongoing experiments due to unknown catastrophic planetary risks, potential misuse, and lack of any governance. All right, check this one out. Just Stop Oil spokeswoman Zoe Cohen calls for an end to journalistic objectivity around the climate crisis. The international cult-like doomsday group is known for adopting communist militant tactics to disrupt and coerce governments to change policy and agendas around the climate crisis. Take a listen. How worse does it have to get? How many kids have to die? How many more young people have to do this stuff? I don't know what else to say, Anna. Why aren't you on the streets with us? That's all I can say. How do you explain your inaction? How do you explain it? Everyone here, all the presenters that we talked to, how do you explain your inaction? How much longer are you going to keep this journalistic objectivity up until the water's lapping at your ankles, until your own kids haven't got food? How long? Okay, here we go. China opens its new coal transit rail network to feed 100 new coal-fired power stations among the thousands already operating. They'll power, among other things, manufacturing plants to provide the West with products including solar panels, EV batteries, and turbine parts for Western green energy projects. China is the leader in coal power plants, having nearly double all the world's countries combined. Those are today's bites, which are on our website at Disclose.tv. Subscribe and leave those comments below. Oh, <laughs>